Hey, Rivka. Hey, Rivka. Hey, Rivka. Hey, Rivka. Great to see you again. How are you doing? Good to see you again. The last time I yeah. saw you, you were trying to teach me how to play golf. And have you improved? No. no. Got worse, in fact. I think we all get worse <laughs> as we get older. Unless you're a professional, do you know what I I'm mean? I'm just hoping I'm better in the kitchen than I am on the golf are course. Are you? With this gentleman, I think I might be. OK, <laughs> then. There we are. I that's have it. faith. The Italian yeah, stallion will this. always help you out in a moment of crisis. That's what but I'm thank hoping Thank you, Angel. Let's have a look at your ingredients. Okay. Let's see what you've got here. A nice little selection okay. for you. Oh, now, spill the beans then, Erica. Well, I recently moved to the Kent Coast, mm -hmm. um, down in Whitstable, and I'm a big, big fan of all the fish and seafood down there, so I really wanted to bring in some fish to see what Gino could do with that today. Yeah. OK. I got a couple of chilies, cos I'm a spicy kind of girl, so I thought we'd have some fun with that. Some Italian vine tomatoes. Very good. Mm. Uh, I bought some rice, rice, pineapple. Okay. And some runner beans. How much did you spend, my darling? Nine pounds ninety. What do you think, Gina? <clears throat> Beautiful bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm especially like the. Now, Dominic, you're a man known for loving his cars. You worked in the motor trade for many years, but this is something else. What is this you're driving today? It's called a Plymouth Prowler. I think there's about six in the country. I first saw him when I went to Las Vegas. I was over there, and the second saw I fell in love with it. I just went over there and bought one. You went on a mission? I did. You tracked one down. Yeah. Of all the characters in the show, you are the one, I think, who has the most cult status. Yeah, it's not that they like her any more than they like Toby or anything like that. It's just that that's part of their very young life. It's sort of like meeting Father Christmas, I suppose. There must be an awful lot of fan mail and stuff that comes with that. Yes. yes. Do you yes. get lots of it? That's very funny. We often find something fun to tell you about. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I can't. I can't. Is it rude? Yeah, it was a bit. Is it saucy? Yeah, it was a bit. Is it from a lady? No. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> Really. I just don't want to make them look silly. I want to shake your hand because you're the man who gave Anne Robinson hell on the weakest <laughs> link. Scottish play. Macbeth. That's what, what it is. is. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see that what they question cut. about the Scottish play. Hello. Never heard of Macbeth? Yes, I have. Just down there. That's why I got shot. <laughs> Isn't that finding it too difficult coming back to the point? Is this all right? Well, no, they took away the chalk mark. <laughs> I imagine you get quite a reaction to it as you drive around. You certainly do. You get noticed in this. I often have people come up on side of the roads and they're looking at it trying to see what the badge is. So come on, be honest. Have you ever pulled it in? I've got to be honest. Now, they may have you believe that it's always sunny and gorgeous here in Erinsborough, but the fact is that today it's not quite half past five o'clock. It's already dark, and as you can see, it's pretty wet, horrible, and rather cold as well. By the time you see this shot, they're actually just rehearsing behind me at the moment. It'll look like a lovely balmy summer's evening. Oh, the magic of the camera. Now, I'm very excited today because I'm actually on my way to meet the man who's in charge of all the cars and the vehicles that they use on EastEnders. I am convinced that this little room room is going to be a big star. So I'm on my way to sort it out with him and see if any of his characters need a car just like this. He's a fantastic guy. Yeah. He's a fantastic guy. So you're going to tell me who shot you? Now you've come down. No, it's right. Come on, come on. I've just course. spotted a coffin. Who's is that? That's Ethel's coffin. That's was. Yes, I know she's home. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd let me have a go, would you? Oh, you're cheeky, aren't you? Please. Come on, you've got a nice smell. I promise I won't hit anything. Well, I'll try not to. Can you join me, Tom? That's the, yeah. Oh, I'll have a little bit. OK, that's the break. That's the pipe. OK, there's a thing going. This is going to be embarrassing. I'm telling you, I'm going to regret this. Handbrake sound, isn't it? Embarrass what it does. OK, so you put your foot on the brake. OK, so far, so good. Yes, good start. So far, so good. I go into... Do I push that bit down? We'll leave right there. Into drive. That's it. Before we go, I just want to say I've really enjoyed meeting you today and thank you so much for letting me do this, just in case we're not speaking by the time we get back, all right? Don't say that, Eric. Don't worry. No. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. <laughs> I haven't hit anything yet. It can only be a good thing. Well, you've got a foot. 